Hello everyone. You all will surely remember the doctor who appeared in the Epica podcast episode when he was in the Massachusetts hospital talking about his butterfly proof. We have Dr. Yale Tung with us. Hi Yale. Hello Juanjo. Épica Podcast, Podcast. Ecografía, Ecografía a pie de cama, pie de cama. Con, Juan con Juan Zafra y Enrique Ortiz, Ortiz. Desde, desde Cosemes Euskadi. How are you, my friend? I'm doing better day by day. Thank you. You are an emergency physician from uh, La Paz Hospital in Madrid, aren't you? Yes. Yale, I think you have something important to tell us. Yes, I'm COVID-19 infected. Oh, Yale, I feel sorry for you. How do you feel now? It's okay. Much better. Uh, since uh, a couple of days, getting better. How long ago did you acquire this uh, beautiful virus? Uh, last week, uh, or around five weeks ago, uh, five days ago. Okay, uh, and after that, you decided to be into your house. Mm, isolated, mm. in in one bedroom, small, very small bedroom. Okay, and let me know about your family. How do you feel they? They they are doing well after. They tested and uh, the result came back negative. I kicked them out from my house. Obviously, you had contact with sick patients. Uh, I had contact with many sick patients. Uh, you remember I work in the emergency department, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the reason why you are in this situation. Here, well... I suppose that, like other hospitals, your protocol are very strict. Yes, we follow instructions from the health ministry and uh, to see any patient, you have to change uh, uh, your uh, and put uh, gloves, uh, glasses and uh, complete uh, protection uh, scraps in order to see any suspicion. Uh, sick patient and despite all the precautions it happened uh, you know what happened uh, I tested positive and then the people around me did the, get the test, the test and one of them tested positive as well and he was sick way before I started with my symptoms so probably it was another colleague who was the source of the infection and not a patient. And then, yeah, it happened that uh, I got infected and then I was kicked out from the emergency department. Okay, uh, you are at your home uh, with any drugs? Yes, I'm on the, the paracetamol, uh, ibuprofen and uh, since yesterday, I'm on hydroxychloroquine. I suppose you started on the last drug uh, because you got worse? Mm, yes, uh, I got much worse. I was very tired with more cough and uh, low grade fever reappeared again. So I decided to start after, after asking a colleague, I decided to start again with, uh, with more medication is not an experimental drug, it is uh, an useful drug, isn't it? Uh, we follow the Chinese doctor's experience and uh, they put these drugs into their protocol so there's no reason to be so special at. Um, probably it's a little bit too early to to introduce this medication in a broad way sense, but maybe in selected cases you could consider due to their safety profile. In fact, it appears uh, on guides. 
Ok, um, the positive thing of all this, if this can have uh, one positive thing, Siempre negativa. Nunca positiva. is that you decide to make uh, an, uh, to make a diary, an ultrasound diary, with uh, videos uh, about your own lungs. It's okay. Mm, yes, um, more than me about my lungs. Actually, that's that's the main issue. This was a COVID diary about my lungs, but people turn it into a diary about my symptoms and about. Uh, a uh, sick doctor to uh, isolate a doctor and not about uh, my ultrasound anymore ya está bien o se habla de mi libro o me voy yale what do you think about the uh, ultrasound findings uh, about uh, the covid infection i think we should expect to find uh, the common findings in viral uh, viral pneumonias uh, that is uh, to have a thickened pleural line to have many b lines in a patchy distribution around the lungs and then some subpleural consolidations in your opinion do you think uh, this kind of uh, ultrasound findings uh, can be useful in the prognosis and uh, evolution of the disease Probably if we uh, use it and as a monitor tool and see that my patient, my sick patient, uh, uh, along with the symptoms, uh, I see a worse uh, pattern, lung pattern, probably uh, that patient needs more effort, more uh, therapy to treat uh, the disease. So what I will say is that uh, um, along with your symptoms, uh, you, you have another thing, uh, another tool that can help you aid to take decisions. On Twitter, you daily post ultrasound videos of your lungs that I said. Uh, can you summarize the, how these findings have evolved? I just started uh, five days ago with a normal lung scan. And then the following days, it started to appear. First, a thickened uh, pleural line with some pleural fusion, B lines. Uh, the finding of subpleural consolidations. I still have them today. Uh, more uh, bilateral distribution. As the pleural uh, effusion uh, disappear, the subpleural consolidations uh, started to to generalize on my on my lower lobes. When the pleural consolidation appear, uh, you started to to take the drugs hydroxychloroquine. Uh, Yes, uh, th that was one of my main concerns. Why, if I if I was doing everything right, uh, I was uh, having uh, my symptoms got worse, and then also my ultrasound. That is why I tried to to step up and to try another therapy. And that it was only a day ago. A day ago. Are you okay now? Yep. Much better feeling now. Okay, uh, Jalean, uh, what kind of uh, proof do you uh, use to uh, manage to explore, to, to make the exploration? Actually, any deep, uh, deep probes could work, any low frequency probes could work. I, in my case, uh, what I use is a curvilinear phase probe. With a, a little bit of distance uh, or uh, 12 centimeters, uh, as we can see, we can see at the, at the videos. 
Yes, around 12 to 15 centimeters. If I want to get a closer look on the plural line, I get to to four five centimeters. And the sound of the the pulmonary, pulmonary sound. Uh, did you choose uh, the plaps? Mm -hmm. The area of the plaps, uh, my lower posterior lobes. So that's the main point to look for the consolidation, and that's the first place I was looking for when I got sick. All your videos are about uh, plaps, other uh, thorns. Mm. Uh, the main ones till day four were on plaps. Uh, today I went a little bit farther, farther up, and uh, found that I had uh, more affected lung areas. How do you have the shoulder uh, about the in internal rotation? <laughs> <laughs> I'm more flexible now than I was a week ago. <laughs> Is that a secondary effect? Yes, from my pneumonia, I got more flexible. <laughs> okay, Jale, thank you very much for this interview. Uh, and uh, we hope the best wishes for you. And all we have, you uh, speedy recover. Thank you, Juanjo. Bye. ¿Y plaps o las que atrás tú no puedes? Placa, placa, ¿y cómo te llegas al plaps, tío? ¿Sabes quién te podía aprovechar? Netflix, tío. ¿A que tú ves Netflix? <risa> o no, y tú no, eso ya HBO y tal. <risa> es que menuda cosa se te ocurre, tío. Pero bueno. <risa> Me encuentro, me encuentro mejor hoy. Así es que la mejoría antes de la muerte.